Hi, I'm Olivia Omer. And I'm Monica Eccleton. This is the true story of eight different high school seniors picked to work together on a high school television show. This is Truck Yeah, take one, brother. They all came from different backgrounds and had their own unique personalities. But despite their differences, they came together as a team. Hello, I'm Maddie Imey. And I'm Rose Strutman. This is what happens when people work hard and keep it real. This is the Blue Jay Journal TV Senior Class of 2015. <gasps> oh, Monica's one of my best friends. Monica's fabulous. Monica, 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 Monica! Monica's really sweet. <laughs> she always knows what she's doing. She's also a, an incredible team leader. We actually did an intro to broadcast together, and then we decided, hey, we should do a Blue Day Journal together. Monica is really sweet, and she's really helpful. It's her first year, but she's really caught on to things really fast. She really works hard to um, put all the work she can into her stories. She's one of those people that really knows what she wants. She likes to have everything, like, perfect. She has habits that I want. Every time that I'm in a like group with her for a story, she puts a lot of effort in. She wants it to be the best it can be. And she's like a big sister to me. I feel like I'm still a new person. Do <laughs> she will do, see a vision and like she'll do it her way, she, how she wants it, so it'll turn out that way, and she won't settle for anything less, which I think is a really neat trait in someone. But like that'll get her really far in life. After high school, I'm going to attend Lindenwood University in St. Charles. I think I'm going to do something with business, but you never know. Where are you still going? <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Bye. <laughs>Oh my gosh, Tasha is hilarious. I've known Tasha since like second grade and she's always been like really funny and she's very, very honest. She's really funny and she obviously does not care what anyone thinks. What do I think about Tasha? She's she's kept a really fun mood in the class by basically by making fun of everyone in it. Just don't take it to heart because it's meant to be funny. She always um, voices her opinion. Tasha's my best BFF in TV. I made like one of my very best friends and it's somebody that I can actually count on and that's Maddie and without Blue Jay Journal then I would have never met her. She is the most honestly blunt person you'll ever meet in your whole life. She is real with you so you're never gonna get fake out of Tasha. I'm glad that I took Blue Jay Journal because it gives me very good people skills and now I'm more comfortable like going out and talking to people and when I went to my first job interview I was comfortable doing so because I had been out like and talked to random strangers before and I feel like it has made me overall a more bubbly person. Okay. <laughs> okay, Isaac? Yeah. Isaac, oh God. Hi Gator. He's actually my locker buddy. Gator. Isaac is a funny guy, and he always gives a lot of hugs. Hi. Isaac's so nice. Hi. Run, Will! Run! Run, Will! Oh my god, I don't know where to begin with Isaac. We like, have like super dumb inside jokes. Isaac's just a bundle full of random energy. I always see him in the hallways, and he always like smiles. He's definitely the class clown. He makes all of us laugh, and he just like brings really good energy to the class. Blue Jay Journal's not a class, really. It's, it's more of a family, and I'm going to miss that. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as done. In a day, 24-hour day, she probably spends about 22 of them on her phone. Like, I swear, she probably texts while she sleeps. Maddie? I love Maddie. I knew Maddie before Blue Jay Journal days, back when we were chunky little third graders. Maddie's hilarious. For Blue Jay Journal, she's been a good worker when she's not on her phone. She's a hard worker and she works really hard in all the stories and she, she'll do anything to help out her teammates. She's really knowledgeable about everything. She always will help you if you can't find something when you're editing or writing a script or have a question about cameras or anything like that. I think Maddie's going to go really far in life and I think that she has the potential to do great things and I wish her nothing but success. After high school, I am going to go to East Central for two years and study mass media communications, and then I plan to go to Mizzou's J School. 
Even though this is a high school class, it's still one of the greatest decisions I ever made. Cameron. Yeah! He is the cutest. He's got some nice hair. He's got that really going for him. Cameron's something else. He's always nice, you know? Like, he's so sweet and nice to everyone. Uh, we have all kinds of cool handshakes because we're guys and we do that kind of cool stuff. His voiceovers are so pleasing to like the ear to listen to. Cameron Shepley is my other half. Cameron is my prom date. He plays basketball, soccer, and baseball, so he's really busy year-round, and he still makes time for Blue Jay Journal. He will always like do something for you. He will give it 110%. I could talk to him about anything. It's me and Cam against the world. I plan on attending the University of Lindenwood Belleville and playing baseball. Olivia Omer. Olivia is my PIC, partner in crime. Olivia, she's really pretty, nice. What's your favorite thing about her? Like physically or like? <laughs> her hair is unreal. Why is she your best friend? Yeah, yeah, there you go. We're well, like best friends because we, we talk about everything. I don't know, she's cool. Olivia is like really quiet at first, but then like I started like seeing her outside of school and then she's actually really funny and really fun to talk to, so you should definitely get to know Olivia Omer. I don't know why we're friends. We're just awesome people together. Two awesome people together That's always. Good. That's good. Cool. Yeah. Honestly, like before like Blue Jay Journal, I thought she was kind of intimidating a little bit, but once so, like I started working with her on staff and I got to know her, like she's so nice and she's so funny. Uh, she's super good at broadcast, if that means anything. In Blue Jay Journal, Olivia is really good at writing scripts, and so whenever I'm stuck on like a voiceover or something or need help like laying something out, she, I'm, she's always the girl I go to, and I give her props for that because I'm really bad at writing scripts. I am going to be attending the University of Alabama next year. I'm planning right now on majoring in nursing and then maybe getting my master's after that at some other school like Vanderbilt or Duke or something, I don't really know. And then I want to be a, a nurse practitioner. Rose is cool. Rose and I have been good friends for since freshman year in health class, you know, and then we decided to join Blue Jay Journal together. Rose is really nice and she's really good at writing blogs. She's just so nice to everybody. I've never heard her say anything mean. Rose is really sweet. Like, she has a big heart and you can tell that, like, throughout her work and everything. She's a really good leader. She really, like, knows how to, like, take charge and make sure everything goes right and everything works right. She puts a lot of effort in the class also. And she's just so kind. I like her a lot. I want to major in nursing and I really want to be a neonatal nurse because I really want to work with little babies. Megan? She's very good to ask for help. I like going to Megan with any problems or anything I have. Megan was always super nice. She had a good work ethic in Blue Jay Journal. She doesn't care what anyone thinks about her and she's so hardworking and all her stories that she's done this year, like her backpacks and everything, are so good. And she like just goes so deep into everything she does, and she's so willing to help. And I think she's a good role model for kids to look up to. She always has really good ideas, and she's done really well in her stories. And she always kind of like aims for the heart. She was a good leader, you know, helping the young people adjust, being a third year person. My favorite Blue Jay Journal memory is going to Boston last year with MC Landolt and Megan and Miss Turner. Miss Turner always jokes about how like I was always looking for a charger because my phone would always die because I was always on it. And then Olivia had these little thumb up stickers and that she would go up and if we like liked the place or something she would stick a thumbs up sticker on it. They might still be there but who knows. After high school I am planning to go to Rockhurst University in Kansas, Missouri and I'm going to play softball there and then I want to study to be either a physical therapist or a pediatric physician assistant. Yeah, I was setting traps yesterday, got another dang possum, or opossum as they spell it in English. Yeah, never know when them things are actually dead for real. Yeah, you know I know, that's real annoying. So these eight different high school seniors came together and became a team that led Blue Jay Journal TV to great success in 2015. From multiple Best of Show honors at SSP to taking top honors for two different PSA contests in Franklin County. Add in the All-Missouri honors at MIPA, as well as earning respect from other students and teachers across our state. Yes, these eight seniors stuck it out and learned that hard work pays off. It wasn't always that easy. There were many challenges along the way. 
but they kept it real. We thank the Blue Jay Journal Class of 2015. Thanks to you, we have a new and improved website. Thanks to you, we have all learned a new video editing system. Thanks to you, Blue Jay Journal TV is ending this school year on a positive note. So this is the true story of eight different high school seniors who were picked to produce a TV show. What is in store for them now? After graduation, the next chapter in their lives starts. But these eight different people will all look back on the moment that they all had one thing in common. They were all a little team called Blue Jay Journal TV.